Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Monday the 30th of June. Goodness, it's the uh, it's the last day of June. July tomorrow, where's the year gone? Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. High Pressure seems to be back on the cards across the long range. I'll show you that in just a second. First this week, um, got low pressure down towards the southwest at the moment. That's moving its way eastwards into Tuesday. Should be in the Bay of Biscay. Brings a brisk easterly flow across to the far south of the country, but generally a ridge of high pressure is in again, so plenty of dry weather around, just a few showers out to the west. On uh, Wednesday, um, got high pressure over the south again, brisk southwesterly flow through Scotland, quite windy across northern western Scotland, some rain there, but dry for most with sunny spells, feeling warm as well. And not bad through Thursday across the south either, uh, high pressure still in, less of a wind, feeling pretty warm, could be 27 degrees across southern England on Thursday, but much cooler across northern Scotland, 15 here on that northern side of the front. Some cloud and outbreaks of rain for northern western Scotland, northern western Ireland, also increasing risk of some cloud and some spots of rain from showers across Wales, northwest England, parts of southwest England, but the far southeast probably dry. And I know those farmers amongst you who watch will be keen to know that uh, rain is probably going to be arriving during the course of Friday. Most of it across Scotland, across Northern England and across Ireland as well. Bits and pieces of drizzle uh, for Western Scotland and South West England. But across most of the rest of England and the Wales it's just patchy light rain. Not going to be completely dry everywhere but I think just patchy rain seems to sum it up quite well. Fairly breezy for most. But then all change for Saturday. This front driving its way south eastwards, bringing heavy periods of rain with it and some fairly strong winds ahead of it. I think the rain tending to be showery in nature. There is a risk of some thunderstorms as well. But brighter weather following in from the west behind it. Now, what I find interesting uh, at the moment is what the models are doing after that, because this is from MeteorCenter.com. It's the forecast of pressure from the uh, Canadian, from the GFS, from the UK Met and from the ECMWF over the next uh, 10 days. And you notice here, look, there's the falling temp in pressure that we see this weekend but just look what they all do they all bring pressure back up again um, during the course of next week and try to improve conditions again uh, not only that they also increase temperatures there's the 850s look uh, not by a huge amount so not a heat wave but certainly increase uh, temperatures and despite the rain this weekend they're going for dry conditions next week now um, I do have a bit of an argument with this I'm not sure it's going to go particularly into high pressure like that, I think we do go more into showers. Now, it's not going to be these kind of frequent showers that we see in the winter. I think they're going to be fairly well scattered, taking us through next week and perhaps into the week after. And you'll know if you're a private client, that's what I've been hinting at. That's what we've been trying to say over the last uh, couple of weeks, was that we thought we would go into this... Um, reasonable temperature period, reasonable weather pe period, but always with more showers around than we've seen so far. And the CFS uh, sees it like this. This is week one. There's the high look down towards the southwest of the country, low the normal heights to the north. We've got the flow going something like that, which is what it's going to do effectively this weekend. Uh, week two uh, was shown like this. Um, week two always was hinted at... Uh, Sorry, let's just get rid of that. Uh, week two um, is now hinted at showing the low the normal heights to the north, higher the normal down towards the west again, with more of a trough through the country. So I do kind of buy this idea. You see, it's trying to back up my idea of the showers being there across the north and the west. Most of them always across more northern areas where the heights are lower than normal, relatively few for the south. So the CFS is seeing this idea. And then for week three, from the 14th of July to the 20th of July, it tries to kind of build the heights both to the west and the uh, east, puts low the normal heights north and south. So we've got a trough here, we've got a trough here. So it's trying to get it into um, thundery outbreaks of rain across the south, or thundery showers across the south during this period. One or two showers to the north, but generally dry conditions across the north. And then... The CFS after that goes a bit high crazy. Um, interestingly, this is what the ECMWF does as well. They're trying to build in quite a big area of high pressure, putting the trough down across Iberia there, trying to build in a high with winds rotating around like so um, during this period from about the 18th, 19th onwards. I think that's looking increasingly likely. So I'm looking at somewhere 18th, 19th. You know, you've got to give or take a couple of days on this. But I think probably for five or six days, so up to about the 25th, um, could be dry, could be warm, and could be sunny as well. 
long way off, anything could happen, and then leading us into a thundery end to the month. But I think this is the period that we probably have to look at for real fine stable weather across much of the country. Of course, anything can happen, anything could change, but that's where things lead us at the moment. And those of you watching regularly, those who are private clients, know that that's the aim of weatherweb.net. The aim of these videos is to give you an idea as to how the weather situation is developing. So I'll leave you with that for now, but thanks again for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day, and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.